Hi, my name is Mr Peacock. I am the learning leader for chemistry here at Concert Academy. Um, and this is a presentation for those students who are considering studying chemistry at A level at Concert Academy. This is a challenging but rewarding subject which requires a high level of academic rigour um, to ensure success, but is rewarded by that recognition from universities for this course. This slide shows the assessment overview for A-level chemistry. This covers the two-year A2 course, um, uh, where modules one to four are covered in year 12, and modules five and six are covered in year 13. Um, the modules one to four will cover the AS specification, which can be sat at the end of year 12, but then in 13, they should be five and six to uh, take that up to a year a, a two paper. The different topics in there cover a whole range of different key parts of chemistry, organic chemistry, inorganic and physical chemistry, and really they build upon the GCSE specification and take it to the next step in terms of the student's scientific understanding. There are three exams at the end of year 13, um, as detailed on the assessment overview side. Um, Exam 1 and Exam 2 are on the content. The third exam, Unified Chemistry, is a synoptic paper which covers a little bit of content from all of the different areas of the course. The practical assessment side, under ordinary circumstances, students complete the practicals through the course of the year, the two-year course, um, and those practicals are not externally ex assessed, however, can appear in the exam. This slide shows a little bit more detail on the course content of the two years of the A2 chemistry. And um, what you'll see is module one is development of practical skills. Now, in ordinary circumstances, what these skills are developed as the course progresses through the course of doing practicals relative to the different topics. Um, however, there are certain key areas and methodologies that we discuss and we go through uh, to support that module as well. Um, they will appear, however, in the exam as well. The, the next module, module two, is foundations in chemistry. So this really takes our GCSE content, and that's the bit where we start to add that little bit of extra detail, that extra layer that helps to clarify some of the key points that might have come across at GCSE, but in a, in a very light touch kind of way. Um, then you go on to module three, where you've got the periodic table and energy. Um, again, this is taking a lot of the concepts from GCSE and building those a little bit further, applying them to new situations, and allowing you to extend your understanding of them. We hit module four, which is the core organic. Um, again, this is taking the organic chemistry that you do at GCSE, which is very limited and very short, and it's building it further and extending further to allow us to start to get into the more complex organic chemistry that will lead us on to things like organic synthesis and, um, and making molecules of a particular kind or analytical techniques. Uh, then into year 13, we hit physical chemistry and transition elements, where we go into a lot more detail on the energetic side of chemistry. And we do another module, module six, on organic chemistry, where we look at some very specific compounds and the reaction mechanisms involved within those. This slide shows us the requirements for the course. Um, what we look for is a grade six at GCSE chemistry or a grade six or seven at GCSE science. Um, we also request that students have completed up to a grade five in GCSE maths and a five in grade, grade five in GCSE English. Um, this helps students to access the course and apply mathematical skills within chemistry. But obviously we look at individual students on a case by case basis to assess their suitability. If you're not sure, do come and talk to us. Here we have some examples of successful alumni, students who have studied chemistry and gone on beyond Concert Academy sixth form. So we've got uh, Daniel as an example. Last year, Daniel, Daniel came to us with a triple science GCSE grade. He studied hard throughout his two years at A-level and he left at the end of last year with a grade A star, the top grade in science. Um, he's then gone on to study natural science at Lancaster University. Um, we've got Josh, 
who also came in with a triple science GCSE. He again worked really hard throughout the course of the year. He found a lot of the content difficult, but worked at it. Um, he's then gone on to study chemistry at Newcastle University. Um, we've got Erin who came in at, with a GCSE in triple science. Um, she achieved a, a grade C at her A level. Um, and she achieved this through a very targeted and methodical approach where she worked really hard. She organized her notes. Um, she sought information where she needed it. And despite finding a lot of the course difficult, um, achieved a really good grade. So last year we scored 100% um, of our students grade A star to C. Going back to the previous year, we got 100% of our students to score A star to E. So we've got a pretty good track record in terms of students passing. Chemistry is an excellent course in terms of progression to undergraduate study. Um, it is recognised by universities and is awarded UCAS points appropriately. Um, and it can open up careers into a whole range of different industries, such as chemical industries, uh, medicine, veterinary science, food, agricultural industries. You can also then go on to study apprenticeships if you choose not to go to university, um, or you can go into um, further education with the chemistry A level as well. So if GCSE Chemistry has piqued your interest and you are ready to step it up to the next level, if you are ready to be challenged and pushed within chemistry and are ready to work hard for that, um, then please feel free to get in contact. If you have any questions regarding the admissions or anything to do with the course, feel free to get in touch if you email the address above um, and we can respond to you on that. Okay, thanks for taking your time. Bye.